Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Koifish and just like any addict, I have relapsed back to playing as Hasty. Hey, it was a good run. I really tried my best. But today, I need him. Hasty is the only man for this job. Because Koifish just realized that even though the game is called Crusader Kings, I haven't really done the Crusades that much. I mean, I have spent more time playing as Upland than I have playing as Jerusalem, which is sort of the main goal of being a Crusader, unless you count any of the other Crusades. Oh, I especially like this one. This one went so great that they sacked Rome. So today, I'm gonna do it myself. You know how the saying goes. If you want something done well, you have to do it yourself. And Hastin is going to wage a one-man crusade. Not counting his troops, but less talking and more crusading. Let's get into it. Now, what character are we gonna play today, huh? We could pretend that I would actually play a crusader. <laughs> But I will recommend my own series, self plug here. I am currently doing a series where I play as every starting character in these starting tabs. This is not one of those. This is just another hasting video. I will have it linked top right corner where I play as uh, two characters that hate hasting. But no, today I want to tread familiar ground. We will be playing as none other than Jarl Hasty. And as you can see, he is currently contemplating life with his son Ragnar. All right, here we are. Now, if my goal is to become a crusader king, there is a slight problem with that. Count Hastin is also true. He does not believe in Jesus, just the way he doesn't believe in himself. Because he has massive imposter syndrome. So what are we waiting for? Koifish has like a speedrunner planned this route out. Just like the time when we went all the way from here. And took over the Kyrgyz Khanate. And became the Khan of Khans. And then went back. But today, my friend, uh, we're not going back. We're crusading away straight to Jerusalem, taking it over before the Christians even knew what happened. And then we'll see what we'll do. Maybe we'll convert. Maybe we'll fulfill the destiny. Maybe we'll do something spicy. So when I play Hastin, which I do way too much, I like to see what sort of Hastin we have. Very nice. We got the one that has Overseer. Overseer is great when it comes to cheaper mercenaries. But the main aspect and the main appeal is better control. That's gonna be great because I don't see how this region will be super kind to... This guy coming in and being like, hey, new management, you thought I would check in, talk a bit to my new employees? <laughs> All right, I'll leave. But we're gonna work our way down the chivalry tree. Chivalry is great if we're gonna lead troops ourselves. Considering we have 27 marshals, I think we are. Right off the bat, we'll have to move closer to Jerusalem. This is my preferred start if I'm messing around in the Mediterranean. I go for Cagliari, because right here, there are some lovely silver mines. No mucking about, we want to leave France as quickly as possible. Possible. That should be the goal of any person living in France. <laughs> oh, how it feels good to be back, Hastin. I missed you. Oh, and he does not disappoint. Very nice. All right. Borbon. Ta-da. We now own Southern Sardinia. In Cagliari, there's the Argentiera mines. So we'll simply send down completely volunteers. Unless you don't want to work, you don't have to. Unless you're a slave. <laughs> Into the mines. We'll have our wife help us in the matters of patronage. And we kick this shabby Frenchman out. Pay him. I'm not paying for your services if you're gonna be that bad. All right. That's the first one taken. Now, we need to get here before he gets a bunch of allies. Because then, <laughs> it's gonna be really hard to conquer him. Now, we can't get to him just yet. But, if we were to conquer, for example, another island, we could get there in no time. Emir Shuyab ibn Umar. Uh, Crete is sort of mine. Absolutely love this place. Is this Crete? Oh, this looks sort of, this sort of looked like someone mixed Gandhi and Gandalf and Lil Nas X. And Ax. <laughs> Raise the lads. Send them off on another boat trip. The day we stop conquering is the day Hastin dies. It's like Tinkerbell. You stop believing in him <laughs> and he falls flat on the ground. Hello, Cretans. Very good. To the worthless Count Hastin. Hey, King Charles, that is a terrible way to start a conversation. Also, I hate you. Giving our mutual interest, I'm sure we get along, friend. I've lately heard of your dispute with that miserable... Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is King Ludwig. King Ludwig, my best friend. Pictured me and my best friends hanging out in the longhouse. Unlikely, but this Frankronian and I are best friends. Easy as blueberry pie. Now that is a nice bit of conquering, but we're gonna have to delegate the land a bit. We're just a count. As much as Jarl Hasty wants to front this a Jarl, he's not. At least not yet. Now we are ready to take on the Abbasid Empire. Now we want to do the Invade Kingdom causes belly for Jerusalem. 
a proper crusade. But we're gonna need exalted among men. To get that, we'll need a bit more prestige. So, let's go on a pilgrimage. We can also form the Duchy of Crete. That wouldn't honestly be too bad. And I have a little daughter. Let's name her Jerusa Hilde. All right, time to build up all that prestige so that we can get to exalted among men. Now, the best way to do that, <laughs> You know it. We're going raiding. Get on the longboat. We're going to Venice. <laughs> Let's go raiding. It's a good for you. Let's go raiding. While the sky is blue. Oh no. Little Ragnar is gonna be shy. Uh, listen. It's better to be fat than shy. Trust me. It worked out for me. <laughs> you wanna fight me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Silly Venetians. Venetian blind. I mean, he must have been Venetian blind if he didn't see that coming. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby, we're getting so much gold. So much gold that we're full up. And so many prisoners. A hundred quid for that guy? <laughs> Welcome to Hastings Sales. <laughs> Buy back your relatives for a very cheap and reasonable price. All right, we acquired the money. Let's become the Duke of Sardinia. Very, very good. This lets us sort of delegate our areas a bit. We'll also raise a runestone. Little daughter, you this. You this balls. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got the mines, we got the money, and by gosh darn it, we almost got the prestige. There we have it, exalted among men. Women though, <laughs> they don't really care for him. That's fine, because Hastin doesn't care about the women either. <laughs> All right, it's time to take Jerusalem. A, a bit early for the crusades, but hasty. we have to do this. Let's start by marrying off our daughter, Jerusa Hilde. The strongest alliance we can get is none other than the Khan of Kasaria. That's absolutely massive, because they're pretty close. Look at <laughs> get this, this little boy. Next up, Jerusagdis. Y'all, Ivar Boneless, or perhaps House Oskilder of Kiev. He's a bit closer, so absolutely. Do we go for the Egyptians and take the kingdom of the Tulunids? It would be way more holdings, and it would put us in a position where we are insanely powerful to strike at them. Technically not a crusade, but tell you what, I take over Egypt instead, and I'll rule as the pharaoh. No, <laughs> that's not my idea. I take over Egypt, and I sort of used to do duchy wars against Abbasids. Yeah, that's what I'll do instead. Invade the Tulunids. Egypt shall be mine. Call in my allies. Kasoria and Kiev. And raise my lads. Let me also get a doctor. Crusading could be really bad for your health. Ask your doctor before you go on any crusades. Yisrael or Nisim? A Jewish man! Tell you what, Nisim, of course I want a Jewish doctor. And a Jewish lawyer at that. Better call Saouli. <laughs> Here we go. Now that is a formidable force. <laughs> A crusade! A little Tyke! His name is Jesuke! Like Jesus and Tyke rolled into one. All right, lads, we fight! Glory to God! <laughs> Haste in pyramids! I repeat, Haste in is at the pyramids! What is he doing with the Pharaoh? Stop! Let the mummy be! All right! The kingdom of Egypt is ours. Very, very good. <laughs> That's, that's bad. That, that's cursed. That looks cursed, I tell you. But we hold a much, much powerful position. Let me just clean it up a bit. I'm just holding off because very soon we're gonna have a very nice revolt coming. And we can crush everyone, kick them off their land, and easy as blueberry pie, we give it to the Vikings. No, no, I'm being murdered. <laughs> I don't want to be murdered. Oh, come on. Let it... It's a surprise party by my new friend. No, my lips curl as I glance up on my walk around Barca to find my rival King Charles hurrying along the street toward me. <laughs> no, our rivalry have been particularly vicious of late. The two of us exchanging verbal barbs at every opportunity. You're a hobag. Your father is a hamster. It is only then I notice someone in his toe. I recognize them as Giselle. Charles' child? She smiles at me somewhat quetishly with a merest hint of a raised eyebrow before hurrying after her father. What was that all about? N no, hasty. What are you doing? Oh my lord. Am I cucking Hastin? Am I cucking King Charles by banging his daughter? <laughs> All right, Hastin, calm down. Egyptian independence. <laughs> no, I will not be threatened. I will fight you. Allies, please help. For the love of God, help me, help me. <laughs> the people of Kiev, the people of Shelland, the people of Kasaria. Help me, please. Hastin is the prince of Egypt and he shall not be stopped. Toot that horn, lads. Toot it. Toot it strongly. Toot it bravely. Who's right? up, huh? Ah, yes. Literally everyone. <laughs> right, that's enough. Come on, let's crump them. We just happen to have hard rule. Siege progress against revolts, 50%. Very nice. Stop revolting. Here I thought we were chill, huh? <laughs> let's seduce her. Giselle and I crouch side by side. Are we like sneaking in Skyrim? The powerful boar in our front. 
unaware of her presence. My own attention is unwavering, especially as Giselle's dress brushes against me. <laughs> when I reach over to embrace her, I found that she also has an attention elsewhere. As the boar disappears into the plains, our naked flesh is cradled. No, we can't let the boar get away. That was dinner. All right, I guess I am banging <clears throat> his daughter. Wow, no, not cool. That's a foul. Can't do that, Hastin. Can't do that. Well, it seems like the independence war has gone pretty bad. <sighs> into prison you all go. Very. Very good. All right, my prison full. We could get a bunch of gold for this, but the silver mines, they pay us fairly enough. I do have another idea. It's kind of funny. Hey, can't spell good times without war crimes, <laughs> but I did ransom some of them <laughs> and gained a lot of gold doing so. <laughs> Very nice. Now let's give this away to nice and happy Vikings, huh? People that won't be angry at me. Let's give some land to this guy, huh? My court physician, my Jew. You, sir? Very nice. The Jew now controls Mount Sinai. Lovely. Do we build a grand mosque? <laughs> it feels a bit weird to do so. And now we control the pyramids. Nice. All right. This puts us in a great position. A great position to take out these guys. <laughs> Let's call in the people of Kiev. The Kasorians are very powerful, but very expensive to call in. We'll go for the budget options instead. Less prestige cost, but less powerful. Yes, I treat my allies like mercenary companies. <laughs> and I have a son, Hastin Alem. Look at you, you little boy. Hastin Alem, Hastin son, Hastining. Oh, oh, shucks. I accidentally married you away when I wanted to educate you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hate when that happens. Sorry, accidentally married my little son to a Norwegian woman. What are the Ukrainians doing over in the hub? Haste in sightseeing tour. That's Petra. A cool city in the mountains. Think like dwarven, but more, more, more ouds. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Come on, we'll slap him about. Don't teach this. It's ours. <laughs> That's the man himself. That's the Abbasid. I can ransom him for this much. That is a ridiculous sub. I could also kill the Caliph. Oh, I will plunge them into chaos. I will sacrifice the Caliph. <laughs> Very good. It's just a little boy controlling now. <laughs> oh my God. They're gonna holy war against me? Oh no. Oh no. He became a martyr. That's not good. Take Jerusalem. Odin will. Oh, <laughs> A peasant revolt. That's all fine. We just won the crusade against the Emirate of Palestine. <laughs> Look at you, little boy. Thank you. Jerusalem is ours. Oh, a new jihad. What are you going to do with that little knife, huh? What are you going to do with that knife? <laughs> a jihad against us is going to be a real problem. But we have Jerusalem. <laughs> Very nice. And with our newfound money, we can buy some new men at arms. Let's check the terrain. A lot of this is dry land. We can never go wrong with a bit of cavalry. Light cavalry, that is. Let's beef him up. And we'll give Cairo to Yesuke, my little son. Oh, a war against <gasps> King Charles. Oh, this I want to fight. Holy macaroni. I mean, we're going to have to. <laughs> Raise the lads, come on. Someone's trying to kill my guest. <laughs> Let them. I don't know who that guy is. Who invi Man, who invited this guy? King Charles! That's King Charles! Crush him! Boom! There we go. Very good. And we'll take our army and we'll go win this war. Majority com comes from him controlling the war target. So, if we just take this area, that should be it. Very good. The war has been won. That means that we can raise a rune stone. But first... Let me move my capital to Jerusalem. The de facto capital of the kingdom of Jerusalem. Boom! Haste in Jerusalem! Raise a runestone and put it in Jerusalem. <laughs> we will leave our mark. Let's get our army nice and big. And we have sappers. Giving us way better siege potential. No! An attempt to elope with my wife Petty Queen Vigdis has been thwarted? Who are you? You Count Jatvarder? I lock you both up. Wife in prison, you, you Jatvarder bastard, into prison you go. Yeah, that's it, you mind boars. Get out of here, man. Give me a hook on you, sir, and wife, a hook on you as well. Why would you do this? Oh, well, I'll take out my anger on this child instead. It is time to make the kingdom of Jerusalem. We're gonna need two more areas to make the kingdom of Jerusalem. So, let's take these areas. Give me the emirate of Urdun. You're done, you're done, you're so done. Let's get the Kivians. Let's get the Duchess Gita. Oh, oh, it's the woman I accidentally married someone off to. Ha, that's great. See? God's plan. It works out in them. That's the woman I gave Brittany to. All right, call you in. <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. Sometimes we don't know his plan, but God damn it. He has one. <laughs> oh my lord. Look at my friend. King Lampert. He's a lamp because he, he lights up my world. 
<laughs> Let's capture these areas and crush his armies before it's even raised. <gasps> a cat? Count Jatvarder. My friend gives me a cat. Bro, I'll take care of him. My little, my little cat, Mite. And I'm best friends with King Lampert. Wow, King Lampert. <laughs> what a man. We have taken the Emirate of Urdun. Wait, I have to be Christian to do this. Interesting, interesting. Well then, before I turn to Christianity, I shall conquer all of Jerusalem. We still have this area to take. The Duchy of Ultra Jordan. And we have a dynasty legacy. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go with mostly fair. Cheaper hunts and cheaper feasts. King Charles dead. <laughs> Goodbye, you little bad boy. Princess Giselle. How many of these kids are actually mine? I know this. <laughs> that, that's hasty. You can see that totally. Yo, dude, you are getting absolutely schmacked. <laughs> All right, come on. We will protect Jerusalem. Deus vult. Deus vult. A son. A son born on the day of battle. Jerusa victor. As we won this day. A victory. <laughs> This is why I'm not allowed to name a child. <laughs> Come on, fight harder. Be very fighty. <laughs> why are you all so angry at me? I'm taking the holy land. Stop being so pissy. Wow. I'm doing all the work for these Christians. And they're just rivals against me. Huh? Look, I control all of Jerusalem. All of it. It's mine. <sighs> but they won't let me form it unless I'm a Christian. But look at this. The Pope, he hates me. He hates my guts. Look at this. All of these Christians are my rivals. Why would I want to form their kingdom? Why would I go to their heaven? They have yelled at me for too long. <sighs> no, you need to go with someone that took care of me. Who has been a friend that was there for me when I was sick, when I was wounded? Oh, oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> Shalom, my Vikings. We will create Israel. Convert to the faith. Justin. It was there all along. His name is Haystein. Or should I say Haystein? We will convert Jerusalem to our faith. And we will restore Israel. I am Haystein. I am a Jew. What's what? this? You're revolting? <laughs> because I'm Jewish. We must stop the Jahudi. No. It's me. It's Jewstein. What? You're feuding against me. House feud. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna stop this man. My nemesis. St no. Hastin. We, we can't be drinking all the time. <laughs> we'll hold a feast. Uh, there must be some sort of Jewish holiday. What? Like uh, Passover? Why don't you pass over <laughs> that ham? Oh no, we can't eat ham anymore. Oh, come on. I, would, I wouldn't make for a good Jewish person. I, I just feel like I would mess up so many times. Boom. Revolt gone. Thank you very much. That means we got some new land. Prime real estate in the Gaza Strip. Hello, my fellow Jews. It is with great happiness that I can offer you land. <laughs> What's our standing now? Ah, that didn't count. I did that all for nothing. <laughs> what a delightful day. Why is haste in shearing like a, like a drunk grandpa at your bar mitzvah? <laughs> What a delightful day it is. The wind is refreshing. The sun is warm. And insects chirp happily in the undergrowth. Everything seems bright and vivid. And it's all because the blathering full Arduin is finally blessedly dead. Oh my lord. It's best day ever. No, but I'm sick. That's not good at all. <laughs> and just like that. Jerusalem is the correct faith. We can do it. Oh yeah. My friends. It is time we return home. <laughs> Restore Israel. The exodus will finally end! With Jerusalem and the promised land under Jewish control, the time is ripe for the creation of a new united monarchy named Israel. Like the great kingdom of the ancient times under David and Solomon, but now under Hasty, the long-suffering Jewish people are finally in control of their own destiny again. No longer shall the Holy Land be torn asunder by warring Christians and Muslim lords. May this new kingdom usher in an era of peace and prosperity. Long... <laughs> Long live Israel. <laughs> All right, my lads. We're going to have to make the rabbinic priesthood as well. There we go. Yo! Look at you. Teletubby. Control panel. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> nice. I love it. Listen, it is all good. We have Jew Pope. And while we're at it, let's make, let's make a holy order. The Zealots of Abu Ghalib. <laughs> I love it. Very good, Israel! And it's only natural to take the Dome of the Rock and upgrade it to the Third Temple. <laughs> it's been a long time 
but it's back, baby. Upgrade that one. I get the menorah of Jerusalem, an elegant reliquary containing a holy relic. The probably original menorah at the Temple of Jerusalem. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. You know what that means, right? I just need to wait for the temple to be built. And there it is. <laughs> the third temple has been constructed. Oh, yeah. The third temple. It was so good we had to build three of them. And that means that it's time. The Norse and the Ashkenazi. Oh, as soon as it's present in one county, I'll sweep it up. Uh-oh. Well, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Before I die, King Hastine, the shepherd, I will enact Scandinavian elective. Hey! Please vote for the right person. Uh-oh. Democracy has failed us once again. <sighs> Typical elections, right? We're gonna have to throw money at them and become stressed out of our mind. Well, now I'm a lunatic. Look at what you did, huh? They're voting for Jerusa Victor. All right, I guess I'll do the same then. Israel election. Best of luck. Hey! He's in dead. But Israel intact. Oh yeah, oh yeah, except we lost Crete. Oh. I guess King Ragnar he's his son lives on Crete now. <laughs> Very good. I think that's going to have to be it for this video. We have come a long way. All the way from Montaigu, starting as hasty, conquering our way, Sardinia, Crete, and all the way here, Egypt, and eventually the Holy Land. But being turned away by the Christians, we instead turned to the Jews. And we made Israel again. Very, very cool. If you like this video, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't you worry, I won't just get stuck playing Hasten again. I'm a functioning Hasten addict. I only have to go back to him a bit once every now and then. Next video is gonna be a very, very interesting one. So I hope to see you by then. Until then, stay hasty, my dudes. Yeet!